All right, YouTube. Um, today I want to talk about sorting copper pennies. Um, what you'll need to get started, what you'll need to, uh, how you, you'll want to go about doing them. Uh, first thing you need to do, obviously, go to the bank, get yourself some pennies. Now you want a volume of pennies because if you do it a little bit at a time, or if you're doing you know, a few rolls at a time, you're not going to get anywhere. Um, because it's a lot of work. A lot of this kind of tedious. Um, so to, to make it worth your while, you need to get one of these $25 box full of pennies. Now, you want the unopened boxes from the back. Don't get the loose rolls, um, even though I've had uh, I've had luck with loose rolls, which are the customer returned rolls. Um, you know. I, I had to do it one time and I ended up doing okay for about 20% copper, but you run the risk of picking up somebody's zincs. You know, somebody else is doing it and that's their drop off bank and they just dropped off a load of zincs. You just bought $25 worth of zinc pennies and wasted a bunch of your time. So try to get the unopened boxes. Um, usually I do pretty good um, around here. I'm uh, pulling about 600 to about 900 copper pennies out of a box. Uh, the last box I did buy was a dud. Uh, I got 300 copper pennies out of it. Half the rolls were um, brand new 2011 pennies. A whole roll would be 2011s. So I kept opening roll after roll of shiny brand new pennies and was a little disappointed. All right, so you know, go to your bank. Um, you know, your bank most more than likely will be the one who wants to, to deal with you the most or who's more willing to, to deal with you. So uh, there's four of my banks within 10 miles. So I pick up from, I, I usually use uh, three of the four, pick up from two of them and drop off to one of them. Um, but if everyone's out of pennies, uh, the fourth one comes into play. It's a little further out for me, but I'll make the drive if I have to. Um, also, though, I do go into random banks that I'm not, you know, uh, I'm not, don't have an account at and walk in and sometimes they'll give me the pennies and sometimes they won't. Um, depends. Now, usually the banks will ask you, do you have an account here? You say no. They say, well, I can't, can't do anything for you. Um, at my bank, if they ask me if I have an account there, I say yes. That's it. They don't ask me for a license. They don't ask me for my account number. They just want to know that I'm a member of their bank before they go wasting their time walking back to the safe and, uh, you know, getting the pennies. So I want, you know, you can, if you're brave enough, you can try just saying yes at another bank that you're not an account holder at, but, you know, you run the risk of looking like a fool when they ask you for your name and account number and stuff. Um, so I never do that. I always say no, and if they don't want to give me anything, I just go to the next bank, you know. Um, banks are all around. One doesn't want to give them to you, or one doesn't have them, go to the next. Uh, so now, we assume you have your pennies, you have a $25 box, you come home. What you need to do, you need to get a nice hardwood surface, okay? Every penny before 1982 is 95% copper. Um, in 1982, through most of that year, they are still making copper pennies, but near the end of the year, I think like August, September of that year, they switched over to the zinc uh, copper clad pennies. So, like, you know, probably about 60, 70% of 1982s are, I don't know the exact numbers, but that's what it seems like to me roughly, um, are copper pennies. Um, you need to bounce them on a hardwood surface. Bounce them and they ring. Have a high pitch ring, that's a copper penny. Um, if you bounce it and it clunks, that's a zinc. You're going to need a coffee cup and a big plastic drink cup. Now, you'll fill this up twice with zincs. You'll fill up this twice with coppers, for the most part, you know, give or take. So, um, like I said, the last one was a dud, so I, I didn't even fill up my. Uh, coffee cup once with coppers. So you open the box. My box I already opened and I've, I've done some of them. Alright, you're going to grab a penny roll out. And you can just rip it from the top and 
you know, it'll start to open. And I don't care. I, I have, I, I, every time I go to the bank, I get penny rolls, put them back. So I just rip these. Some people like to push the pennies out and then re-roll them in the same roll. And just, I don't know. All right, so I'm going to pinch out. I'm going to grab a pinch of pennies. Like I'm grabbing a pinch of dip out of a can. All right, hold them in my hand like so. All right, so I have them right in a row. And I'm just going to start sorting them. Copper goes in the coffee. And zinc goes in the cup. And 2003 is 71. 79. 2,095. 79. 77. 96. 02. 93. 02. 2000. 74. 03. 99, 64, 84, 74. All right, so that's half a roll down, basically. Um, just go ahead and peel the rest of this roll apart. And go pinch, do the same thing. 1957, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, um, no mint mark, wheat penny, I don't know if you can see that, um, just found a 1920, uh, a couple of rolls ago, 1929, wheat, so I got two already out of this, 75, 75, 05, 03, alright, I usually, um, a little faster than that, because uh, I have the cups closer and my hands are closer to the cups. So I'm just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Um, you know, that's basically how you want to sort them. Just keep them in a nice little stack, you know, and just flip them. Your eyes will adjust and, like, learn where they need to look. So, like, you know, you see the back of a penny, you flip it over, your eyes will start to know where that uh, year is going to be, and you get faster at it. First, it took me about four and a half, uh, four four and a half hours to sort a whole box. Now I have it down to about two and a half to three. Um, it used to take me an hour and a half to roll the pennies. Now it takes me um, about 30, 45 minutes. Um, I have to do this bid in two parts. So, you know, that's what you do. You blow through your pennies like that. Um, when you're, when you're done, I just take this cup and I dump them into a big bag. You know, it's, it's a little cooler bag. It's any bag, any little bag that you can find. And this is my last box. This is the dud box. And this is filled. All right. There's a bunch of flipping pennies in here. There's probably about 20, 22 and a half bucks worth of pennies in here. <laughs> Most of them are 2011s. Um, all right, now what you need to invest in is one of these guys. Um, can't be more than a couple of bucks. I don't know. I picked it up a long time ago. Um, this will speed up the process uh, exponentially. It's better than trying to stuff them back into paper rolls. Now, every time you go to the bank, you pick yourself up these. Um, just to say, you know, hey, I got some pennies at home. Um, you know, can I get a stack of pennies so I can roll them? And they'll say, how much do you want? And, you know, say, I don't know, 30 or 40. And they'll give them to you. And, you know, so you got them. So no need to save your old rolls. I know some people like to sort the pennies and then stuff them back in the roll and kind of sort and re-roll. You know, and it, it might be faster. I don't know. But uh, this is the way I do it. This is the way I'm comfortable doing it.